Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of Permaculture Perspectives. Today I'm going to be doing a really simple video just telling you guys uh, what it is that attracted me so much to permaculture and why I still love it so much. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. Um, today I wanted to do a really simple video as I mentioned in the intro. Um, and I wanted to do this as one of the first episodes of this series just because um, I will be doing some videos that are uh, present sort of critical analyses of permaculture. And I have done that a little bit in my previous videos as well. So I thought that it would be, and I'm sorry for the car noises, you can see really beautiful trees behind me, but on the other side there's a pretty busy road, so I apologize for that. Um, anyway, back to the main theme here. Um, I wanted to do this video talking about what really attracted me to permaculture, um, because I think that it should, it's going to be like a baseline for the future videos that I make. And um, I do think it's really important to critique uh, things that we, that we love because that's the way that we can um, analyze them and hopefully make them better. And I think that's definitely the case uh, in terms of permaculture as well. So, okay, um, I guess let's start back to when I first heard about permaculture. I think it was probably about uh, nine-ish years ago and I was just in the first half of uh, my undergraduate degree um, and I remember when I first heard about permaculture I thought it was this really cool idea because I had always felt attracted to um, land-based uh, types of lifestyles. I had always wished that I could have a house in the countryside and have animals and grow my own food. Um, that was always really attractive to me and because permaculture, um, at that time anyway, I interpreted permaculture as very much just a land-based approach to design. And so I was very attracted to it and I thought it was cool. But it wasn't until I went to my first um, permaculture workshops and I started going to courses and just meeting some of the people that were active in the movement in, in different parts of the world that I realized something which was that in this uh, atmosphere or in the environment like in a permaculture environment um, where people are really passionate about it and interested about it and really understand what it is I felt like almost for the first time I could be a hundred percent myself um, and I realized reflecting on that that in the past I had always kind of been holding something back and I, I realized this was mainly in um, work and school situations and sometimes even in just um, like regular day-to-day -day interactions with people I had always felt a little bit of like a coldness I think just the like mainstream lifestyle of the West has not sat very well with me from the very beginning. And I had always felt like I had to play a role um, when I was at work or at school. And I think the main thing that rubbed me the wrong way in all of those um, environments was actually this emphasis on uh, individualistic thinking and competition. I have never been a person who works well under pressure um, and so in those environments there always is some kind of pressure and some kind of um, like hierarchy and authority figure that um, is looking over what you're doing and some people deal pretty well with that but I and I thought that I dealt pretty well with it because until I kind of entered the permaculture world I didn't even realize that it was bothering me but it's almost like until this weight is lifted off of you you don't even realize it was there and that was definitely the case with me and so when I um, did these especially like longer immersion permaculture experiences um, and I was just felt this like freedom to be myself to I don't know just like be silly whenever I wanted to speak really honestly and not be judged 
um, just to be very direct and honest and have people do the same and to kind of not have this like superficial level of connecting with people. I find that in permaculture environments, um, people are much more ready to sort of get down to the important stuff because permaculture did arise as a response to a lot of things that are wrong and unfair about the world and that's what interests a lot of people and it gives permaculture environments give that space to people to discuss those things um, and so that was very attractive to me especially um, in my early 20s I just felt like um, there wasn't enough spaces where I could connect like that with people and I also felt like in my day-to-day -day life I was um, those ways of thinking were sometimes marginalized, that that wasn't important, that was, you know, um, like thinking about sustainability and just how to live differently was, I don't know, like a stupid dream and I should just focus on the important things and that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, just entering into the permaculture world really made me feel kind of at home. It gave me this feeling of being at home and I also remember that um, I used to have that feeling for myself, but I used to have to create it, like take my energy and create a sort of sanctuary around me, usually when I was alone and just um, tell myself that the things that I cared about were important and I was going to work towards the kind of life that I wanted, even if it wasn't the kind of life that the world around me said that I should want. Uh, but it was a lot of work and you know, when you're um, kind of outside of the mainstream there's always this pressure on you and it can definitely wear down on you over time and make you question um, make you question whether you really want those things or not and yeah you can get very confused and so uh, because in the permaculture environment other people were also feeling that way the same way as me and I was able to have those conversations with people my my little like sanctuary kind of expanded and I didn't have to work so hard to have that sanctuary and um, yeah that was just like such a relief and I think that's what has kept me interested in permaculture all these years these past years because um, I know that that sanctuary is there and um, yeah like I mean the practical aspects of permaculture of designing um, systems that work like natural ecosystems from a like science perspective is super interesting and amazing but this social aspect of feeling accepted and having this place to be yourself for me is really the most important thing and that's why um, I really want to make permaculture that way for other people too I know that it is that way for a lot of other people but not necessarily for um, everyone and I guess it will never be that way for everyone, but I just, I'm really interested in making people feel comfortable the way that I have felt comfortable in perma permaculture. Um, that's definitely a, a really big interest of mine. Oh, another thing I think for me that was really interesting was that permaculture, um, even though it is something that can be defined and, um, you know, uh, explained relatively quickly, it is something that you get to know so much more about as you stick with it you really get a much more holistic understanding of what it is like what it is to have a permaculture outlook and an approach when you're designing something and that doesn't come right away and I was really attracted also to that challenge of not having that complete understanding right away but being able to learn more and more and more as time goes on and that's um yeah, that's something that's kind of kept me hooked on permaculture. And I kind of talk a little bit about, about that in my first episode of Permaculture Perspectives. Um, I think it's like, I talk about permaculture as a definition, as a conversation. And I talk about how it's much more interesting to view permaculture actually as a conversation that evolves over time and includes new ideas and things like that. Um, so you guys can check that video out if you're interested. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I just wanted to put that out there and I'm really interested in hearing back from other people. Like what was the first thing that really um, grabbed you about permaculture? What was that one thing that really sparked your interest? And um, whether or not that's changed over time uh, as you've gotten to know more about permaculture. 
Um, and I also wanted to let you guys know that these beautiful trees that you see behind me, unfortunately, this is the last time that you'll be seeing them because my partner and I will be driving across uh, most of Canada tomorrow. Well, we're starting. Sorry. Yeah, I got snow all over me. <laughs> Sorry, we're starting the drive tomorrow. Um, it's gonna take us about a week, hopefully, if everything goes smoothly. And we will be beginning a new life project in the western part of Canada. Um, part of that will be starting our own business, hopefully, that's gonna transition towards um, a natural building project. And we're also hoping to have a land-based project and be able to do our own um, natural natural building but like build our own house essentially um, using natural building methods and we're gonna be hopefully setting up um, some kind of opportunity for people to come out and help us and um, collaborate on our project so stay tuned for that we're definitely going to be doing more of a vlog type of episode and hopefully I can get my partner on the channel as well to contribute his side of things because I think you guys would really enjoy that um, so stay tuned. That's really exciting. That's happening soon this year. Um, so yeah, again, uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, please like this video if you like it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel to support me in making more and better content for you guys. And if you have anything to say, would like to collaborate or give your opinion, please shoot me a comment down below. And I will see you on the next episode of Permaculture Perspectives. Take care. Bye.